Okay, so after uh, the previous video, you've seen the start of my new character in uh, this new version of Final Fantasy. Uh, it's, it's very different because, I mean, I'm trying to sort of continue on the same character in essence. Uh, renaming him the same as before, trying to design him as close as possible uh, to my previous character. And I'm going to be joining one of the groups of people that I originally uh, hung out with. Uh, that would be the Coast to Coast Link Shell. If you read my blog, you'll see when I, when I join them. I believe it should be on there. If not, I'll just give a bit of a backstory on the blog entry that goes along with this uh, video. However, you know, it, it's, it's different in the, in the sense that I'm still exploring. It, it's sort of a, a new experience for me because it's not like other games I've, I've joined. You know, when I went into World of Warcraft the first time, or when I went into Cities of Heroes, or Lord of the Rings, when I went into those games, I was alone. Uh, no one else that I knew really played the game, and so I had to kind of find my own way. With 14... You know, I'm going to have friends out there, but I'm still exploring, but I'm still going to have that support system of those friends eventually. In 11, that wasn't even that wasn't even a question. I had a group of friends I was joining. They were already playing, and, and they were there to teach me the game. And now I'm kind of having to go through the tutorials and learn how to play and learn where to go and, and find things on my own. So it's a, it's, it's a new adventure, and it definitely is fun, especially since it looks so much nicer than... <laughs> 14 and then 11 I mean uh, it looks a lot prettier and it, it plays a lot differently um, as for what I find interesting is as far as the game so far um, between this and the beta because I mean the beta was fairly rough compared to this as far as what you could do I mean this is what you're gonna see here is what you would have seen in the beta for the most part, but I've seen my wife playing. She's a bit ahead of me on the storyline, and there's actually a now a storyline quest you can go through. Uh, from the forums I've seen, there aren't too many other quests or, or whatnot quite yet, but... <sighs> Joining a game in the first year, I don't think people really understand the difference. I mean, you take a look at the mature, fully-fledged game that, that Eleven is today, and you compare it to the previous... Uh, you know the other. I yeah, shouldn't have to but the other games that are out there, uh, you'll see that they all seem to be so solid, so much depth in them. But if you were to go back in their history and actually start looking at them from the start, they weren't much different than this game. I think people are jumping the gun to complain about a lack of content. I mean, there are things to complain about. Uh, that's for sure. Uh, the interface is really a lot of nested menus. Uh, it, there's no quick action bar, which I think is a big mistake. Uh, I haven't tried the new auto-targeting yet. Uh, I haven't had a chance to uh, get into that where I've had multiple enemies. But at least there's auto-targeting now. They're starting to look at that. Uh, but as, aside from that, I mean, the, the overall difference between release and beta is just that it, it does feel more finished in a sense. You know, the... There's more options in the in the configuration menu. You can actually set things up a bit better. Um, the fact that you don't lose your spells when you switch, or in my case spells, but in anyone's case the abilities, you don't lose them when you switch now. Uh, so that that's really the big difference so far. There's no real major changes. No, there's still no AH, which I think is a huge mistake. If as he stays with the retainer system, I mean, my wife's finding a massive issue leveling. Uh, she's actually playing an archer, so she's run out of arrows, or running low on arrows, and she has to start crafting them herself because she can't find any arrows. That's one reason why I like playing a mage. I don't have to craft anything. I just have to stay near an aether gate so that I can recharge my MP. So, this is my adventure out to Camp Bent Branch. Um, and also, I'm just showing off uh, the NPC link shells, which are nice. I mean, these are all nice touches that the game has. I, I think that is a big improvement over 11, because your first time experience into this game is a lot different. You you get a lot more of a, of a hand-holding as you run through here and you go out into the world. Uh, there's no technical zones, as you can see. It just kind of 
merges seamlessly. That's this town behind me that I'm just running off. And you just right now there is a zone line technically. People, if they were around, would disappear. But it doesn't. You don't actually zone. You actually go out into the world. And this is again. I just journeyed out to Camp Bent Branch to go do a, a guild web, uh, which is the sort of uh, repeatable fields of valor sort of experience system ported into this game. Uh, for those who know about fields of valor, I'll probably if I'll probably include it in, in the blog entry, uh, at least a link to it, so you can learn more about what fields of valor is. Uh, but for the most part. There's just much more of a step-by-step of a -step tutorial. I mean, uh, the text might not be 100% clear, but I'm getting told here exactly what I need to do, where I need to go, and there are several menus that are going to pop up as I'm coming through this that tell you what you need to do. And one of the really cool things, being a first experience, you know, this being a new experience, and this being you know, anyone's experience when they start the game, is that unlike Eleven, you don't need the support that I have. You don't need this a group of people that can t have to tell you everything you need to do to go into the game. Now you just play the game, and the game tells you what you need to do. Um, the fact that uh, quest mobs are yours and yours alone, or your parties alone, I mean, that's awesome too, because it allows you the opportunity to do your quest without having to wait, especially at launch, Having to wait for enemies to respawn and, and wait for your character to be able to find what you're trying to do. But it is a totally different experience. Uh, it's a very quiet experience right now because uh, I, I don't have a link shell. I don't really know anyone on, on the Kashuan server. Uh, I know there's a couple big name um, webcomic guys on here, but I don't know them personally. So I have no real... Um, I have no real friends here yet. Uh, I've added some of the people I know from my, my uh, link shell that are going to be on here. I just haven't found them yet. They're in different areas of the world or uh, on different times right now. But it is definitely a fun game. I am actually enjoying it. Um, there are problems, but I mean, when you go into the first year of any MMO, you're going to experience the worst that MMO is ever going to be. This is going to be the worst this game will ever be. And I mean, if this is the worst that it gets, I, I, I have got to admit, it's not that bad. I mean, there are a lot of issues that they need to fix, but it took almost, I'd say, five years for Eleven to really come into its own and start to start developing into the game it is today. So I, I, I hope they don't take as long. I hope they start listening to player feedback, though. Because they really do need to listen to player feedback and, and, and look at the issues that people are having in the game and fix those issues as opposed to simply working in a vacuum like they did in 11. Like they, they just did not talk to the players at all. They didn't relate to us. And there is a new lodestone, so there are feedback forms directly from SE now. So I'm hoping they've learned some lessons and they, and they will continue to learn some more lessons. One thing you never get, that never gets old, is that victory music, which I kind of like. It kind of makes a nice little button end to every little trip out when you go leveling. But again, it tells you everything you need to do and exactly where you need to go. So it's 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 definite different experience, and it's a lot of fun. And I do recommend playing the game. Um, you might want to wait a little bit if you don't want bugs or issues. But aside from that, I've been having a lot of fun. Uh, so I'll expand upon what I've talked about here uh, more in the blog. Uh, aside from that, uh, I hope you enjoyed watching some of this footage. I'll uh, go into more detail on certain items if you guys want. All you have to do is leave a comment either here on this video or uh, if you want, leave a comment on the blog, uh, the blog entry that will go along with this. And like I say, just pose your questions. If there's something you want to see or you want to see... Uh, more about one area or another, let me know. Aside from that, thank you very much for watching, and uh, I hope you enjoy your day.